because she was a lady and she was a woman. And this was unique, certainly, in, in, in British history. And it's, uh, it's unique on, on the world stage today to a great degree. There have been others to follow um, around the world. But she was, uh, she was one of the pioneers, Golda Meir in Israel, Margaret Thatcher in Great Britain. Um, how much did that add to... I, I don't know, to, to what she felt or, or how she, she performed in public or, or how, did it drive her in any way, shape or form, being, being a woman and being prime minister? It was a, a very important part of her makeup and also her experience because when she became leader of the Conservative Party, which was before she became prime minister, uh, there were many traditional Conservative Party members uh, who uh, didn't care for her who thought that she was a silly woman and that uh, she would stand for one election, she would be beaten, and then they could get rid of her and get back to business as usual. But, of course, she, uh, she showed them a, a very different way. She won that election and went on to win all the elections that she stood for. But her first real battle was to show was not on, on the world stage or not even on the, the stage from Downing Street, but was within her own party to show that she had the metal that was required of the job. And she showed that she had a medal which outshone um, every other man there. And, and uh, that was the, her first. I saw her at times going into the, preparing to go into the chamber of the House of Commons on the verge of tears because she knew that because she was a woman, they were going to try to humiliate her. But she would dry her eyes and, and brace her shoulders and go in there and give them hell. Uh, but it hurt. I have to stop you, was... sir, because that to me that is amazing. Uh, you know, watching her over the years, and 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 certainly watching the 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 many many clips that I've watched uh, today in preparation for this show and seen on the cable stations, I would never think I would I would think she was who she appeared to be this strong woman ready to do combat in the parliament and and fight back and fire back with wonderful points, but but being near tears or in tears leading into those some of those sessions, I just can't even imagine. Imagine that. Well, she, she had many reasons for being in tears. Um, in, in those days, being a British politician was a very dangerous affair. We had many of our colleagues uh, killed, blown up by IRA bombs, right. and they tried to kill Margaret Thatcher too at the Brighton bomb. Um, and, uh, the, you know, I was with her when, when the news of some of those uh, terrible occasions when her closest colleagues had been killed, uh, came to her, and she felt that incredibly personally. Uh, it was a huge hammer blow to be told that one of your dearest friends had been killed because he was one of your dearest friends. But um, that, that, didn't, uh, that, that, that didn't get her down. That just made her all the more determined. Uh, a woman of, of, I mean, she was called the uh, Iron Lady, but I think she was made of toughened, hardened steel. Yeah, <laughs> and we're talking to uh, Lord Michael Dobbs, former advisor to Margaret Thatcher, here on the Steve Malsberg Show. You know, her closeness with Ronald Reagan and all the horrific things that have been said and written about Ronald Reagan by the media uh, and the left um, it, when he left office and after his death and during uh, the, the time in between until this day. Uh, and, and, and Margaret Thatcher, you know, the movie that was made, there was a lot of criticism that she was inaccurately portrayed by Meryl Streep. Um, and of course, there's, there's criticism today, and there'll be criticism in the aftermath. Tell me in, in the next minute and a half we have left uh, about what she might say about that criticism and what you believe her legacy is. Well, she wouldn't give a could give tuppence, as we would say, the, the, uh, the, the criticism. Um, what she and Ronald Reagan did was to transform our world. When they came into office, uh, the world was divided in, into a nuclear stalemate, uh, the Cold War between us and the Soviet Union. By the time they had left office, and because of the work that they both did and the stands that they took together, uh, there was no Cold War anymore. There was no Soviet Union anymore. Um, it was because of their resilience that the world changed, and the world changed for the better by and large. Um, they really did change not just their own countries, but the entire world. And there are so few statesmen who uh, can, be, um, can be said to have achieved something like that. They were a great pairing. They helped maintain and sustain and strengthen the special relationship between Britain and the United a absolutely, States. Absolutely. Absolutely. Lord Michael Dobbs, I thank you so much for your time. Very generous of you and, and, and nice speaking with you, sir. My pleasure. Okay. Lord Michael Dobbs, former advisor to Margaret Thatcher.